Brazil is at a junction in history, where two visions of nation building are contending with each other. One is a fascist and authoritarian vision, while the other is democratic and pro people. The second round of elections in Brazil, which will be held on October 28th, will decide the future of the Latin American country. The leading candidates in the first round represent these two visions. The far-right candidate, Jair Bolsonaro, who got around 46% of the vote, has publicly defended Brazil's brutal military dictatorship. On the other hand, Workers' Party candidate Fernando Haddad, who received 29%, represents the pro-people legacy of former President Lula. At this crucial moment, people across the globe are standing in solidarity with Brazil against the increasing right-wing assertion and have issued an international declaration against fascism in Brazil. We women and men, united in our commitment to democracy and human rights, express our unequivocal rejection of far-right candidate Jair Bolsonaro, a contender in the second round of Brazil's presidential elections on October 28. The positions that this candidate has defended throughout his public life and during the current electoral campaign are based on xenophobic, racist, misogynistic and homophobic values. This far-right candidate openly defends the violent methods employed by military dictatorships, including torture and assassinations. Positions such as these are a threat to any free, tolerant and just society. In the second round of the election, the people of Brazil will be making a choice of paramount importance between liberty and pluralism and retrograde authoritarianism with a lasting impact not only for Brazil but also for Latin America, the Caribbean and the rest of the world. We call on Brazilians to reflect on the gravity of this pivotal moment in history. There can be no neutrality in the choice between democracy and fascism. O desrespeito, ao destrato que ele representa. Ditadura nunca mais, tortura nunca mais, estupro nunca mais. Viva a depressão, viva a Paraíba, viva o Nordeste, viva o Brasil.